Because of this tremendous discrepancy between existing physics theory and reality, and remember, when you have a theory, no matter how good, no matter how elegant, and you have reality, reality always wins. So a new theory that wasn't quite understood very well and it was quite revolutionary was required. The wave theory of light could not explain the way the black body glows depending upon its temperature. And remember, that's called its spectrum. So in 1900, Max Planck made his brilliant assumption that atoms do not emit electromagnetic radiation, that is light, with any continuous value. They could only emit it in multiples of small, distinct amounts of energy, and this was named quanta. These quantum amounts are given by the following formula. The energy, the energy that's allowed, is equal to H, which is Planck's constant, and F, which is the frequency of the light. Now Planck's constant is very, very tiny. H is 6.63 times 10 to the minus 34th joule seconds. As hard as this hypothesis is for us to believe, Max Planck didn't like it either. He didn't believe it was real. It just worked. It's kind of like when you're doing homework problems and you're working from the answers in the book. You'll get something that works, but you have no idea why unless you work the problem yourself before you look for the answer. It just didn't make sense that atoms could have only steps of energy. Why couldn't they have ener any energy? For example, what this is telling us is that if you're trying to get a box from here to here, there's no way you can do it by just sliding it along the incline because the energy here changes pretty continuously, at least in the macro level that we deal with, with a box in an incline. It says the box actually has to go upstairs. All right, this isn't the greatest analogy, but hopefully it points out what's going on here, that the energies of light that's being emitted from the atom can only do it in a stepwise function here. It can't be continuous. So Planck thought a real solution would someday be found. However, this one worked for some reason, so he went with it. Planck continued his analysis to try and make h equal to zero, to make it go away. If he could show that, he could get rid of this notion of quantized energy levels and you could have ener any energy you want. However, he did not succeed didn't work. It turns out H is a fundamental constant of the universe we live in. Numerous measurements be made by numerous other physicists confirmed that this number was real and the energies were quantized. This is now going to lead us to another mystery of the physical world and that's going to be worked on by Albert Einstein. And it uses the quantum theory. It uses Max Planck's quantum theory. It's called the photoelectric effect and that's coming up next.